Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay. I've had a long weekend off and I'm back and ready to get at the videos, the inspiration, the crafting this week. I hope that you'll join me over on my Facebook group, Nevermore Creations Junk Journals and Friends, if you want to see other tips, tricks, and things that are going on from this wonderful community. So today we have journals that we're going to be flipping through from Debbie and Yesenia. And these are August challenge journals, so they are old books, script and lace, type theme. So let's get right into it. All of these are available for purchase um, in the Marketplace Journals section of a website. And I would suggest while you're shopping for journals that you take a look at the Marketplace Supplies section. There's a ton of little goodies in there that you can um, add to your order and that will be that will be great for the artists as well as great for you to work on your stash. So this is the first one very vintage eclectic theme using a page here from my paper pack. This is um, on my desk. So this is from Debbie. I love the vintage type fabric she found there. And this is called on his desk. That's what uh, she's calling it. I'm trying to move some of these journals out of the way so I can get into here. All right, so she's used old books and then the on my desk ones as well as my coffee stained tags and some other goodies as well. So, oh, I love that. Look at that old little, old looking little booklet. Very fun. A little belly band to keep it in there. So this looks very vintage and masculine, but I do see um, little bits that you could turn it feminine or masculine or any way you wanted to really. I see flowers, ledger papers, so has the old books paper pack and on my desk paper pack. Those are great vintage paper packs that go really well with vintage themes. Lots of different sized papers, different kinds of papers, a little stationary page to write on. So I really just think this would be fun for kind of a household journal. Uh, you know, like things to do, things to clean, bills to pay, budget, or it could be just a great gift for uh, maybe that special guy in your life who enjoys taking notes or writing. This is one of the coffee ta uh, tags. My favorite smell is coffee and she printed it smaller. So you can always print things different sizes. So that's fun. It really gives you a lot more to work with. So Debbie sent that. And then this one, the color kittens. I think this is really bright and colorful. A little cat and a create charm on the spine. It's a little golden book. I think this just wraps around so you can really chunk it up if you want to. So this is also August challenge. She's used on my desk, old books, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as some other ones. So bright soul. That's one of my ephemera packs. Strokes of nature. That's one of my kits. And from the desk of inked stationery, that is one of mine as well. So let's see how she used all that. Look at the tabs, little fabric tabs, the Rick Rack. This is cute. Perfect for um, an artist, maybe a young friend that likes to create. It's got that cute story in there. She's put in like, this is from Strokes of Nature. So is this one from the Desk of a Dreamer. This is that inked stationery. If you hear rustling in the background, it is my dog. So that's all it is. Got little cat stamps. So it's like books and art and colorful, super fun. It could be a great place to swatch your washi tape and different mediums and um, paints and stamps just to kind of keep like maybe a record of what you have so you know maybe right where you're storing it so you can find it easily. It'd be a great art book. Um, Debbie also sent this one, another August challenge. This is a folio journal and she's used on my desk and old books. And it's more of a traveler's notebook themed, but still vintage. This is a great size to work in for sure. I think it comes with, oh, it's a folio. Okay, so this flips, I'll figure this out. 
On the back, there's a pocket here with a piece of stationery. And then this flips over. This is from old books. This is from on my desk. And then there's ephemera. So you get some of the library cards. There's some Project Life cards. And then um, in here, there's just a bunch of pieces of ephemera in these two pockets, three pockets. There's a pocket, pocket, and pocket. So that's great for traveling, keeping everything together. You know, I see Puffy. He's chewing on a wrapper. Come on. Thank you. <clears throat> and then, um, let's see, Debbie sent a fall journal. This is not a challenge journal. She just added it in. Isn't that beautiful? I love the pumpkins, the sunflowers, the Reader's Digest cover in the background. We have some dingles down here. Really pretty. Of course, he's going to find something else to chew on. All right, let's look inside. Oh, look at how pretty. It's called Fall Blessings. She's used some of my autumn digitals from last year. Awesome autumn. I think those were ephemera. So let's see where she incorporated that. Yeah, like these here. Calendar pages. Yep. These are awesome autumn. I, hmm, I'm not sure if they're in the shop or not. I think they are. If they're not, they're a part of the Ultimate Lifetime Collection. So if you have that or if you want to purchase that, you can get those there. Here's another one. I love this little fall journal. So cute. Just perfect for maybe a November daily. Gorgeous choice of papers. Really pretty. So this is a fall one. And then she also sent a Halloween one, which is perfect timing if you want, are wanting to do an October daily or maybe just one that you can work in during the month of October. Um, she repurposed a book cover, The Grim Reapers. There's a dangle. It says The Story. And she used Poison and Lace. So that's one of my kits. Um, and then just other digitals. She doesn't remember where she got them from because she's had them for a long time. So Poison and Lace is my Halloween kit that I created last year. And you can get this. So this says, Oh, what a fright. Oh, what a night. And there's a owl. And then this is my spider page, the strange story. This too. So she used them throughout. Looks like there's some antique papery maybe in here. And just other, this is a piece of wallpaper. Just a spooky little journal if you like that. So my poison and lace kit is, has spiders and scorpions and owls and just little arsenic labels and different things like that. Also in my new holiday image club that you can still get for $5.99. Um, that's a lifetime subscription and it's about to go up. So this was, I love this one, bag of bones. That's one of the ephemera pieces. In the holiday kit, there are several Halloween ephemera pieces and a couple journal pages. And I will always be adding more throughout the months of different holidays. It says, I feel brain dead and bats and spooks. So that's my Halloween kit. I did not make one this year. I don't know if I will make one this year or not. I've been working on the holiday image club and adding Halloween things over there. So that one's available as well. I think we're on to Yesenia and her journals. So she's covered her journals with upholstery fabric and added some doilies, lots of texture. And this one is, let's see, 60, no, 104 pages. It is a challenge journal. So she's used, um, well, I know she's used some of them, but she's used some of my other kits as well as what he wore, which is my masculine kit. But I'm looking for, yeah, she's added in script and lace. This is script and lace. And old books. Really nice vintage layout here. Script and lace. 
cute little. This is a fun one on my desk. What he wore. There's a what he wore and a what she wore kit in my shop in their vintage fashion. This is what he wore. So there's that one. And then this one, again, upholstery fabric, with Tim Holtz paper dolls, little doily. And then again, another challenge journal. She's also added in Armitage Flowers. It's a booster paper pack of vintage, vintage postcards that I turned into journal pages. This is on my desk, on my desk. Lots to look at, lots to look at. Old books, script and lace. Just a, a really fun junk journal, like lots of just extra goodies. Really make it your own, have fun with it. I like this fabric, it's really neat. What he wore. A lot of my kits go well together and I don't always think about pairing them. And I love to see what my artists do when they take like what he wore and then add it with on his desk and even script and lace because of the neutral backgrounds goes really well. Daniel Ridgway Knight from Vintage Image Club. She sent this one. This one's just like cotton fabric covered. That's a beautiful flower there on the front. Armitage flowers, coffee dyed papers, script and lace, script and lace, Armitage flowers, script and lace, cute little frame, Armitage flowers on my desk, script and lace. So you can see how they look in a journal. You can really mix and match old books. This is a vintage book cover one she did. Fabric on the spine. It's getting bright and sunny here. Lots of vintage pages. Perfect when you just like that vintage eclectic and you want a starting point to add on to. Really fun fabric. Again, more, pretty much the same inside, same type of setup with the same pages. And she's printed double-sided where she like, she has script and lace on this side and what he wore on that side. I love doing that with kits. So we have script and lace and what he wore on my desk, backed with what he wore. What he wore, backed with script and lace. So it looks great. Love that fabric, that's beautiful. Lots of pages. All different types of papers. I never thought about putting Armitage flowers with these kits, but it looks really good. Just that booster paper pack with the four pages. It goes really well. And then the last one she sent is this one right here. Super fun fabric. Lots of texture. So again, pretty much the same on the inside. Same setup, super cute. This one's a little more feminine. stickers and coffee dyed paper. So that is what we have today. Come back tomorrow. There'll be more. We're finishing up this week. We're finishing up the August challenge journals. Before you know, we'll be into September challenge journals and that which are tea party themed. And then we will have October challenge journals Christmas theme. So that is super exciting. And we will take off two months of challenges and just work on regular marketplace journals. 
and then we'll get right back into challenges for the new year. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some inspiration and I hope you'll take a couple seconds to shop the shop and see if there's something you'd like for a gift or maybe just to treat yourself. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next time.